Our democracy works best when elected officials have to answer to their constituents and not wealthy special interests. But there's a campaign practice known as red boxing that threatens the integrity of our elections. Campaign finance law prohibits super PACs from coordinating their spending with campaigns. Red boxing openly flies in the face of this coordination ban. Here's how red boxing typically works. A candidate's campaign will publish their messaging to their campaign website, and they'll use widely known signals like a big red box to indicate to super PACs that these are the kinds of messages they want those super PACs to use in their advertisements to support the campaign. Redboxing also uses widely known code words to indicate how a super PAC should disseminate their ads to maximize their impact. These code words don't mean anything to your average voter, but they provide specific directions to a super PAC staffer. Coordination like this facilitates corruption and the appearance of corruption by allowing super PACs and other independent groups to openly coordinate with candidates. Campaign finance agencies at the state and local level are taking notice. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania became the first place in America to regulate the practice of red boxing. At the federal level, Congress and the Federal Election Commission should take a page out of Philadelphia's book. We should amend federal campaign finance law to prohibit red boxing and protect the integrity of our elections and our democracy.